The most important system to get help about commands is MAN. I have summarized MAN essentials on this slide. So let's talk about the slide and then I will demonstrate. So first, in MAN you will find command summary. The command summary will show you how to use a command. If you see items between brackets, they are optional. If you see curly braces A pipe B, you must choose between A or B. And you have to choose one of them. And if you see dot dot dot, then it means you may have more of the preceding item. I'll show you in a minute what it looks like in a real man page. Uh, then man pages have sections. The most important sections are 1, 8 and 5. Section 1 is for end user commands. Section 8 is for administrator commands. That means you must be a root or you must have root privileges to use the command. So on Ubuntu you have to use sudo to use it. Section 5 is not for commands but for configuration files. We will figure out that configuration files on Linux are pretty important and they have their documentation in MAN as well. Many MAN pages have examples near the end of the MAN page. That's quite useful because you can just type the example to get something that's working. If they don't have exa examples, then you will see related items near the end. So if you were almost in the right command, but not quite exactly, then look at the related items. You can also search in man pages using slash some text, which would locate some text within your man page. And press N to repeat your last search, and Q will get you out of the man page. With that in mind, let's have a look at what a man page looks like for real. So let me type man who am I. That's a nice and short uh, man page. So what do we see? We see who am I between braces 1, which means that this uh, command is from section 1, which means that ordinary users can use it as well. Then we can see the command summary, who am I, print uh, the effective user ID. And then we have who am I. Uh, with between square brackets, option. It's the word option, so the word option means you must replace it with a real option and the real options are listed right here. And you can see dot dot dot. Dot 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 in this case means that you can use one option, you can also use several options. As you can see there's really not much in this man page. If we scroll down using the arrow key keys just a little bit, you can see the other part which is about C also. This is something that you will find occasionally in some of the man pages. The full documentation for this command is maintained as a text info manual and you need to run info core utils who am I invocation. I'll show that in one of the next lessons. For now, uh, we are good, so let's press Q to get out of here. Uh, let's do another man page, which is one of the most terrible man pages that you will ever see, man LV create. It's not about the command LV create, it's just about what a man page may look like. And let's see, it starts with LV create from section 8, so this is a root command. And then in the synopsis we can see how you should use the command. So we have option arcs and position arcs and uh, optional uh, option arcs and optional position arcs. And here we have all of the different options that can be used with this command. That's impressive, isn't it? Now, as this is a long command and as the useful information is often near the end, uh, uppercase G helps you to go all the way to the end. And you can see that currently we are at line 1042 of 1074. That's quite a big man page, isn't it? You can see C also, mentioning all of the related items. But if you scroll up a little bit, we can see something very useful that you will encounter a lot in more complicated man pages. These are the examples. So if you are looking for a specific use case, just read the examples to see if there is anything you like. Let me press lowercase g to go all the way up in the man page and let's search for text so that we have seen that as well. So if I press a slash followed by some text, a volume for example, and then I press enter, then it highlights the first occurrence of the word volume. If that's not exactly what I'm looking for, I'm just pressing N for next and next and next and next. And as you can see, that allows me to walk forward uh, through all matches for this specific word. Now let's get out of this man page, because this should give you sufficient impression of how to use a man page.